Now let's take a look at the tire. And so I'll switch to the tire texture set right here. In fact, I could turn everything else off. Okay, great. So that's what I'm dealing with. And one thing that I want to address is the tread of the tire. Now I want to make something that kind of repeats down. And if I feel like I could do that easier in Photoshop, um, I'm going to show you how to do that now. And that's not necessarily true, but just for sake of learning something new, I'm going to go into Photoshop here. I'm sorry, into Maya. And I'll go ahead and open up my UV editor. And I want to make sure that I select just the tire. So I'm going to go to the Hypershade and select objects with material on the tires material. And now I have the UV layout of the tires. So now I'm going to go ahead and do a UV snapshot. And I can see that that's going into um, some random folder. So maybe I'll just put on the desktop, call this um, UV underscore tires. And JPEG, okay, good. 4096 to match our resolution in, oh, 4096. There we go. And that looks good. I'll hit apply and close. Okay. Now you want to make sure that you don't get a red warning down here. Normally you get a red warning if this is not selected in object mode. So make sure that this is selected in object mode when you do that. Now I should be able to open Photoshop. And on the desktop, I should be able to find this. So let's see, UV tires. Okay, great. Here it is. I'm going to go ahead and double click on the background layer, click OK. And now I'm going to make a new layer, put that layer underneath it. I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to switch this to multiply and also lock it and invert it. Control I to invert. Double click to unlock oh. and control I to invert it. Now I'm going to lock it. There we go. Okay, cool. So here's the idea here is I'm going to create a pattern for the tire and I'm going to just try to create that in Photoshop and then bring it over into substance just to kind of show that workflow. So maybe I do something like this. Let's see. Um, let's go down the center of it. So I'm thinking maybe like, actually, let's try this. Okay, I'm going to hold down shift to get that straight. And maybe I'm going to make this um, fill. I'm going to fill it with white stroke. I'm going to make it black. And let's see. Not what I wanted. Okay. Line tool stroke black. There we go. Okay, hold down shift, get a straight line. And now maybe I'll duplicate that. Okay, something like that. Maybe grab both of them so I can move them together. Just getting that somewhat centered. And if I need to rotate it slightly, I could just like that maybe. Use the arrow keys to nudge it over. And I'm gonna use that center line kind of as a guide. Once again, nudge it with the arrows. Yeah, that, that looks pretty good. Okay, I'll maybe group this, Control G, and duplicate that group and move this. Well, actually, maybe I'll wait. Um, I'll do one whole tire and then I'll just copy everything to the other tire. Okay, so now that I've got that, I'm gonna go ahead and um, create kind of a design, maybe like, maybe even with the paintbrush, I'll create a new layer. 
and just kind of like I'm going to paint with black because I want this to go in and I'm going to go let's see I could hold down shift to get up you know a perfectly straight line like that and now maybe I do It's clicking. Okay, let's say if I like that, now I'm going to go and duplicate that layer by dragging it into new layer. Edit, transform, flip horizontal. And then I'll bring this over here like that. Okay, great. Now I'm going to group this, control G to group it. And then I'm going to go like this move that up and now you can kind of start to see the idea of what I'm doing here To speed this up, maybe what I'll do is I'll grab all of these and group them, control G. And now I can duplicate this group of groups. And again, okay. And I don't care, I'll fix the fact that it's going off of there in a second. But the important thing is that it's going straight down right now. And I'm going to group all of those groups, control G. And now I could move that. Make sure that auto layer is not selected. Okay. And now I can kind of rotate this control T to transform it if I need to. There we go. Something like that. Use the arrows to nudge it. Once again, transform constraint and rotate. All right, let's say that looks pretty good. And now, okay, I've got my middle lines and this, so I'll control G to group both of those. And then I'll move this over. And now I've got the tread for the other tire as well. Okay, great. Now, the trick to get this into Substance Painter is really, uh, really cool and easy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn everything off and even save it as a PNG like this. Oh, and now looking at this, oh, there we go, yeah, it's fine. So I'm gonna leave it exactly like that and it's based off of this map here so I can't adjust where it's located. It looks, that looks all right. So if I hide all this, and I'm going to save this. I'm going to go a file, save as. And right now I'll just put it on the desktop. I'm going to call this PNG underscore tire tread. And I'll make sure to save it as a PNG. Save. Okay. Now when I go into back into Substance Painter, here's the trick I'm going to create a new fill layer okay so there's an a layer that is just a blank layer but here's a fill layer so if I add a fill layer it's going to create kind of a, a full gray layer on top but now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to turn everything off except height and normal and I'm going to import my file into the height so to do that I have to import the file so I'm going to click over here on the shelf on this arrow and I'm going to go to add resource and now I'm going to go find it. So let's see, it's on the desktop and I call this tire tread. Let's see where to go. PNG tire tread.
Okay, so it looks like maybe it didn't save. Let me just double check here. And maybe I saved over UV. Let me see. PNG. There it is, PNG Tear Tread, and I'll go ahead and open that. I'm going to call this custom. Um, I take everything that I bring in with custom, and I'll show you why in a second. I'm just going to say that is a um, I'm going to say it's an alpha. Let's try that, and I'm going to import it to um, this. I'll I'll do the current session, okay, and I'll hit import. Okay, here it is, and now I can drag that over to height, and you can see what happened, okay? It went in the exact place that it needed to, and I can see that uh, maybe it's not exactly how I want it, and I can see that it's pretty harsh, okay, um, as far as the uh, indentation there. So what I can do is I can adjust that by um, going up here, on this one, I could um, I could go to switch this to height, and I could bring this down to make it less kind of intense. Okay, um, actually that doesn't look too bad, and maybe you know kind of on um, second thought, maybe I want to kind of push that together a little bit closer. I don't want it to be so far on the side here. Um, so what I could do is I could go back to Photoshop. I could turn on this and I could I could select my groups and I'll take this group and I'll just control T just go like this okay and just to make those identical I'm going to get rid of this one duplicate this one Okay, and I'm going to turn everything off, save as, desktop, PNG, and I'm going to call this Tire Tread 02 just to make sure that I'm grabbing the new one. And I will go back here to import it. I'll type in custom. Alpha, current session, and import. Okay, I'll try dragging that on here. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that looks much better uh, where I want it to be. And maybe I'm going to go back here to height and put this down even more. Just barely. Okay. Yeah, so something like uh, that, uh, maybe a little bit more. Okay, cool, and I, and I have the um, tread on the other side as well. So very cool, and you can see here, that's where our seam was, and that's why we wanted to hide those seams because you can see that it didn't wrap around perfectly. However, the bike, is going to have the frame over it so we're not really going to be able to see that anyway so I'm, that's why we hid those seams there so i feel like in the next lesson i'm going to show how to do more of the tire normal um, on the rims